This is the small stance. But this problem people coming to take these four guests. The prophet said, look, these are my daughters. Take them. They're purer for you. He said, take my daughters. Marry them. Look, hate the sin, but not the sinner. This was compassion that the prophet Lord had. It was important for him that these sinners which he loved out of compassion and lost creatures, it was important for him that they acquire salvation. He had compassion to these people. Take my daughters. In those days, the Sharia, it was allowed for believing women to marry non-believing men. Even in, even in Islam, it was allowed. But then it was abrogated. They are purer. Now, this superlative form, pure, it doesn't mean that the other form of practice was also pure, but this was purer. In Arabic, when they use the superlative and we see it in the Quran, it means the other option has no purity, no degree of purity. This is also explicit in this verse. So, Lord meant it. Take my daughters. Those daughters were religious. They were the daughters of the Prophet. They are ready to marry to change the salvation of people. For God's sake, to spread love, they were willing. Then the Prophet said, be wary of Allah, observe Allah's laws. Don't humiliate me with respect to my guests. He said, Rashid? Isn't there a right-minded person amongst you? Qalu, then the men, the homosexual said, Laqad لَقَدْ أَلِمْتَ مَا لَنَا فِي بَنَاتِكَ مِنْ حَقِّ You know that your daughters have no interest, you have no interest whatsoever in relation to them. They've taken women out of the equation. And that's what's wrong here. Where the sanctity of the woman has been trampled on. There are theories going on. I, I'm not a theoretician or conspiracy theorist or this kind of thing, but just mentioning it just to as a food for thought, because I don't believe in this wholeheartedly. But who is trampling the woman's sanctity today? In the beauty markets and the fashion world, who are the people, those designers, who are creating the woman in the most non-nurturing manner? You see, many of them are homosexual. Now, I'm not generalizing or here, but there's, there's something here. The problem is the sanctity of the woman is being trampled with these practices. Rather than the woman being used as a conduit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now someone may say, well, so long as it makes them happy, let, let them be. Let, I mean, why are we, why is this a problem? But Islam looks at a bigger picture. Salvation has social accountability attached to it. We can't just let it be. We have, we have responsibilities to the community. We want Allah's attributes to manifest as they should be manifested. We don't want it to be wasted. It will be wasted if women are treated like this. Some say, well, it's found in animals too, so it's natural. And it's at the level now. We're taking ourselves. Is that the criteria? Are they the models now? Do we want to be like animals? Is that our model of action? Animals eat, humans eat. Islam has a code of eating, how to eat. Eat slowly, in small morsels. Why? It wants to differentiate you from an animal, in an animal nature of yours. Animals produce sounds from their mouth. Islam, humans talk. But there's a way of talking. You shouldn't shout to people. 
should be abusive to people, and so on and so forth. Animals sleep, humans sleep as long as a program for sleeping. There's a whole protocol of action before you sleep, do this, do that. It's preparing for something in your sleep. You want to ascend in your sleep. Animals have sex, humans have sex. I mean, as long as a protocol for that too. Some say being gay 